is a very, 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 very frosty and misty start to the day. Um, I'm taking Roger for a, a walk. Most of the frost has uh, gone now. It's just uh, but earlier it was really white out and the mist that was on the side is also lifting. I'm just going to show you over the, uh, over the fields. Um, yeah, seriously cold last night, but warm and snugged up in bed. Secret is a really, really good quilt. Oh, hang on a minute, Russia, what are you doing to me? Um, so, another busy day ahead. It's, uh, we're gonna move, up, all fingers crossed, move a lot of the um, cuttings that we've done over the last few days. I've got some of this pea gravel, I just need to cosmetically dress a little area. Um, and then just general bits and bobs, but once these cuttings are put away, that's the main graft done. Then we've got some conifer hedging to um, to take down. Uh, now we've got people on the campsite properly, obviously. Rash is on the lead. Um, so keep your dogs on the lead. But here, earlier, was white. What I might do, if I remember, if I remember, for those that um, those of you that may be new here, I'm going to just put some photos um, here. We were down with Sandra, my wife, <sighs> beginning of February, I can't remember now. And I'll just, um, just for illustration, let me insert some photos here and you can see how beautiful the site is when it's got a heavy frost on it. Uh, meanwhile, let's take Russia out. Two hours of my life gone that I'll never get back. Trying to find a oil engineer. We've got a problem with the boiler in the cottage. Um, and because of all the frost that we've had, not only like the last couple of days, but over winter and a lot of the caravan sites are reopening with the static caravans. Um, and there's a lot of burst pipes out there, a hell of a lot of burst pipes and trying to find somebody has been a nightmare. Anyway, I have got every single thing crossed that I think I've got a result and um, quite literally two hours on the phone um, trying to sort things out. Right, into the cottage I go as we've got, um, we're doing a turnover on it at the moment. moment. So back on with these cuttings. Uh, so I'm hoping in the next few hours to have virtually, uh, or certainly a good portion of the cuttings from the trees that I cut down off the pitches and um, get a seasonal area all, uh, all cleared up. So, on I crack, as I say, I've lost, um, went around on phones and went to hear back from people, two and a half hours of, uh, of my life gone. Will I get time to, to eat some dinner? Better go and see Russia soon as well, aren't I? She's actually in the van today with it being so cold this morning. Right, so that's uh, oh, a massive uh, chunk of these cuttings done. And I'm gonna now start bringing everything from this side up and as I say um, close the play today I certainly want this this half the seasonal area clearing um, so no matter what that takes and how long it takes it, it will be done provided I don't get struck by thunder or attacked by a mole no moles right I need to right, have another layer done and we're joined by me. You've not been about for a couple of days, Mark. Are you well? Uh, not too bad. Hey, a nice couple of days at home. I would say nice. 
All right, so Mark's back with us. Uh, so that he's wondering where, where he's been. He's, uh, he's had a couple of days at home. He had to get some bits and bobs. Uh, so, look at that. Pretty well all cleared. Got that lump there. And then got quite a big pile here. Um, and that's what you call progress. Definite, definite, definite progress. So keep badgering now for another hour and then uh, gonna have a break, I think. Right, so just that pile of cuttings to go there. And let's go as far as saying we're on the final hurdle. Oh, 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 final hurdle. Is it Ch Chelsea Festival, isn't it? It's about the final furlough. Uh, so, just this pile to get rid of now. And then uh, then we've smashed it, haven't we? Lovely, beautiful. Good grief. Right, let's keep bad. Right, on. so, I've had a, a one of them days. It's been definitely one of them days. I've been pouring my heart out to this lovely couple about one of them days. <laughs> Two and a half hours of my life lost. I'll never, ever get back. Anyway, on the last video we had, uh, you had a very quick brief hello sort of thing um, to some people that are staying with us at the nurseries. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to get a few words in a moment and I'm going to do a complete separate video on this motorhome that they're in because this motorhome is special. Very, 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 very special. But I think I need to shut up and I think, <laughs> I think what we need to do is I think we need to get an introduction of who I'm with and um, tell us a little bit about yourselves, your channel and what you do in the motorhome. Well, hello cheers neil um i'm liam i'm one half of the wandering wheelies the other half is over there and i'm d so d's the wheelchair user and i'm the wanderer hence the name the wandering wheelies we spend 95 percent of our time so we're not quite full time in the van uh, but we spend 95 percent of our time in the van we had it converted and adapted to our needs which again Neil's going to show you on a later vlog but everything we had done for a reason and it's bespoke to us it's a fully off-grid um, motorhome that we've travelled in 18 months just over how, how much now? Uh, 21,000 miles 21,000 miles in just over 18 months um, we've been as far as Croatia been to Europe um, quite a few times uh, we've not been to Scotland yet that's on our list hopefully for this year uh, but everywhere else we tend to wild camp quite a lot so coming on to the nurseries is a bit of a luxury for us with all the fully serviced pitches that they have mm. it's like oh yeah give my batteries a rest that's brilliant but uh, yeah we normally do wild camping and the odd campsite in winter when we need it and uh, yeah that's that's us we're just living life and traveling around really aren't we yep so i'm going to talk here because this microphone is a bit rubbish if i don't talk at it, you can't hear me so who drives the bus i do all the driving yeah and what's that like i can't drive i i've got a visual impairment so for some strange reason they won't give me a license they think i might be dangerous on the road <laughs> I, I don't know why so yeah d does all the driving it's quite easy to drive initially when we got the van i was a bit scared because it was as you can imagine i'm like sitting way down here when you first look at the van um it's quite big and heavy looking um but got used to it quite quickly so the physical size of the bus when you first got into it as i say you, you know even i'd be a bit bit bit, bit scared but you just went I don't know what did, did you used to drive a car previously obviously i've gone from a mini a to mini to, to this yeah. to this yeah i think that's amazing yeah. i really do think that's amazing and you've done all the driving because you've been abroad and you've yeah. everywhere yeah so have, everything's done so the the van itself is um the new nine speed fully automatic it's not the old comfortmatic fiat it's a full nine speed automatic but denise drives with hand controls so it's, it's literally a mechanical lever that she pulls back to accelerate, 
pushes forward to brake and then it's got a little toggle switch on the top for the indicators and then a steering ball so going down some small country lanes it is a bit scary because she's basically one hand driving <laughs> down these small country lanes so you've got to have a bit of a you know you know a bit of valium before we go down them but we've not had any any accidents yet have we scary for you and you're a nervous passenger anyway yeah because i can't see what's coming i'm a nervous passenger <laughs> But uh, yeah, we've had no accidents, 21,000 miles. Um, we've had no no bumps, no mishaps, you know. Um, it's mainly other drivers, as you know, you know, um, but yeah. Well, you're, talk, you're talking to somebody here, I don't know if you saw my videos, but I managed to write off two cars in two weeks. So um, yeah, <laughs> he, he, enough of that. So come and give your channel. I, I, I mean, I will put a link in the description here to their YouTube channel. Uh, so obviously pop over go and subscribe and if you don't know how to subscribe go and watch the videos and give them a thumbs up help them grow that channel so give us a shout out to your what's your channel called again so it's the wandering wheelies and we did appear on last year's million pound motorhome so we was in series three episode six if you want to know more about us and what we get up to uh, that covered it really well but the wandering wheelies on youtube there you are, there you are, there you are, fantastic. So as I say, I am going to do a completely separate vlog and I am going to do, just get a bit of a tour on this motorhome because it's, um, is it unique? It I, is. I, I, I mean, I'm assuming it is, that you know of, as far as adapted motorhomes. Yeah. So the, there's a company, um, and we'll go on to this yeah. further in your, your next vlog, but there is a company in Nuneaton uh, that specialise in converting motorhomes, camper vans and caravans for wheelchair access. Uh, so they'll put a wider door on, uh, they'll put a wheelchair lift on and a wet room. Uh, but when we went to them, we're not your average disabled couple. If somebody says you can't do it, we will do it. Um, so we challenged them and said we wanted a fully off-grid wheelchair accessible motorhome that we could basically live in and we've got it you know it's it's come at an expense and it's took us seven years to save up for it but with 21,000 miles in 18 months it's took us where we wanted to go and we've done what we've wanted to do inspirational so look out for a video coming soon on this and um what i'm going to go and do now is i'm going to go and crack on with some work and i will get this other vlog of the motorhome done so don't remember so i say don't remember i'm getting old i'm tired I'm don't, don't forget, forget. I'll, I'll say it for you go now. on then go on so don't forget like subscribe thumbs up to the campsite warden oh oh he's giving me he's giving me one of those <laughs> thank you right we'll crack on right it's gone dark oh very dusky oh, heading to, towards darkness what a day that's been um what an inspirational couple um those were as well just uh, make sure you go and find their channel so i'm going to go lock up the office um lob something in the oven for my tea take russia for a walk and uh yeah Thank you, and if you stayed here to the end, seriously to you, thanks for watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.